Hey everyone, welcome back to Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice. So we've passed the first of Odin's trials to try and release Grammar from the tree. And that cast us into a, a pitch black area um, that basically simulated blindness, it seems. So I wonder whether the other three trials that are laid out for us, these two and the one on the other side of the tree there, are they all... Are they all sort of some some kind of sensory deprivation? Or is this a, a completely different sort of mental torment that we're about to set ourselves up for? I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Okay. Light Sounds all right. shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Oh. Is this out of jealousy from the other gods, perhaps? They wanted to bump him off? So that they could do their no... Oh. Oh. They could get up to no good without judgment? Wait, hold on. Uh. Oh. Okay, we're on a... We're on a, a new island, I think? There's the tree. There's the giant construct where Hela resides. Oh, thank you very much to KV as well for pointing out that the giantess on the bridge was Hela. They're not two separate entities. I managed to completely miss that. She had uh, half the side of her head missing and was burnt down one side, which in hindsight should have been a bit of a giveaway. Um, but this is new. Is this? Oh, this is... This is where we tried to cross, isn't it? Is this the boathouse? where we were before, with the the red rafters dangling in the top. Okay, so, uh, hello. Hi. Slightly puzzling. Right, I'm not getting across that way. Looks like I've got to go and interact with the big bronze face. This is new. Huge bronze face, a huge bronze bridge, and there's another one there by the looks of things. Oh. Trust us. Oh yes, yeah. trust the voices in my head because you wouldn't lead me astray, would you? You've got utmost faith and my best interests are hard. Don't go near it. Don't go there. Don't go too close. Don't okay. Go to the mass. You don't know what will happen if you touch it. All right, I'll keep my distance. Oh. What is this? It's the same. Different. It's another world. One of the worlds. I don't. It's lighter. It's nicer. I like it. Here. I like it here. I don't necessarily Can want to let. Let's stay. Go of the focus. Okay. It's safe here. Letting go of focus is okay. It's here. It's nice. The bridge there is is completed again. Where does this go? Oh, that's... Okay, we need to approach from the other side. So I wonder if this is sort of switching between two realities? What about this one? Is this the destroyed reality again? It is. Okay. Alright. Oh, I like the way that as you zoom in, it acts as a filter through to the other world. Okay, so this is like... This looks like it might be from some point in the past. It's not broken. It's fixed. Yeah, I was about to say, the bridge looks like it's complete. That monstrosity is still there, though, unfortunately. I don't think anything else has changed. The wrecks are still there on the other shore. But at least we can get across to here. Now, there's a rune on the door here. We're going to have to go and hunt that down. Now, this this is a different building. This isn't the boathouse that we approached from before, by the looks of it. I'm guessing this is going to be barred from the other side. Yeah, it looks to be. Okay. What's on the flag? I wonder if that's of any relevance. I don't recognise the design. Looks just like some concentric shapes together. Dillian is in. Don't forget. 
Uh, you can fear me. You need the runes to fight Dillian. You need Dillian. I somehow. Yeah, I somehow doubt that Dillian is in there. Although saying that. Saying that he could. Will you be quiet, please? He loves you. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Dillian. Dillian, Ooh. we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. I can't tell whether the voices are trying to support me or mock me. Let's throw this bridge down, because I feel like I might be going back into the other reality before long and being able to get back via this route could be handy. Okay, let's see if I can find this rune configuration. Um, Dillian was, actually, now I come to think of it, really quite present in that first trial, the trial of blindness. Oh, this is locked tight. Okay. Uh, I wonder if that gate is possibly destroyed in the other reality. Yeah, so Dillian was really quite present in the other one, so I, I guess it's not outside the realms of possibility that he could be present in some way in this trial and maybe all the trials oh look at that it re whoa really does act like a filter yeah you can see the gates broken nice this is fine i've got this transdimensional stuff down Go through it it's dangerous follow it what's behind the gate where will it take you what if the rune is actually the same yeah, it looks like it is. Whoa. The hell? Okay. Um, <laughs> the voice has got quite tormented then. Whoa. Dillian, there he is. Where he is? Oh. Find a way. Find him. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting past that branch though, am I? Is the branch still there in this reality? I'm intrigued what happens if I actually get close to this mask. They said don't approach it because it's dangerous. I'm half tempted to Where is he? defy them just for the hell of it. Oh. He's in the dark world. Gotcha. But I've got to transition over to the light world in order to be able to actually navigate through this place. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white, darkness and light, narrow dividing lines of our own making. The curse, Dillian, believed Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Ooh, let's get this open. This could come in handy later. And in fact, does this allow me around to the gate in the wall? There it does. Right, let's open that one as well. Get all the doors open so we don't have to keep flip-flopping between different uh, realities. So, what was just said by um, the uh, the voice boss? The, the, the one that speaks loudest? It, it, again, kind of reminds me of when we saw Senua meeting Dillian for the first time. Kind of... Um, kind of how she's had this crazy transition from the meek, shy, and just completely naive to the world person that she was into this, this brave Celt warrior that we see before us. Dillian undoes the curse. What does it feel like to feel a love so strong? Dillian undoes the curse. Wait, what, the curse of the darkness? What are they trying to tell me? The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. Quite comprehensive. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him. 
Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not unused. Oh. Ha. Huh. Loki, father of Hela. Of course, Hela is in charge of the souls of the dead. The, the great order of things hangs on death finding you. Death being allowed to sort of take its toll and, and claim its quarry, I guess. So, yeah, anybody interfering with the death of anybody, <laughs> be it man or god. You can't go up there. You can't go up there. Not in this world. Okay, all right. Don't mock me. You can't. Oh, wait, hold on. Can we... Can we get around... Can we get around to the other side here? I'm trying to... I'm struggling to see anything that has this sort of arrangement to it. Unless... Can I... No. Hmm. I wonder if I can get around the back of the building here to try to peer back in through those windows. I'm guessing maybe through that door. Because I'm wondering if those those boards sticking at weird angles maybe make up the uh, the two prongs of this weird sort of F shape. No, okay, can't can't get there. Never mind. Um. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Is it? No. Maybe from back here. The. The red runes floating in the air. He saw that she was strong. No, that doesn't seem to be it. Hmm. Maybe I need to look. Look through that window from up here. I feel like I'm getting close with that. I feel like I'm not a million miles away. Hmm. He cared in a way that nobody else did. Oh, hold on. This is this is highlighting something. The tree. I don't. I don't want to just kind of press the button because it's telling me to. I want to. I want to try and understand what it is that I'm looking at, but it's not really appearing to me. All right, I'm it's gonna have to just go for the trigger. Oh, it's the light! Senwa. Unreal. You've got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You oh. are in the wrong world. Oh, yes, uh, I understand. Don't worry, I'm on my way to the dark world. Smash the gate down again. The curse. And now the darkness is swallowing you. There he is again. So we've got to look out for not only objects that are aligning, but also light being cast. Oh, I suppose that makes sense because the very first one was uh, was the light remaining from a shadow, wasn't it? Okay, so we can pass through. Um, oh. That was weird. I had to be in the exact right spot. Oh, seriously? Can we get through here? Yeah, we can. Okay. He's up there. How do you get up there? Dillion's gone upstairs. There is a way up there. Okay, this is fine. I just need to find the right angle to to bring this staircase, this shattered staircase, or shattered memory of a staircase, I guess, into focus. Ah, there we go. Well, that was easy. That's such a cool mechanic. What the hell smashed through this place? Something went straight through that beam. Look what happened. The curse. And now the darkness is swallowing 
Whoa. Voices are getting most precious to you. Alright, don't, don't try and shift the blame on me. It sounds as though they're trying to blame me for the Northmen invading and sacrificing him. Right, Druth. Ah, oh, that's a different symbol. Druth does have something new to say. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. Huh. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, Baldur's mother's just exposed his weakness. The voices, whilst I was listening to that, the voices were whispering in the back of my head. Senua is alive and Dillian is dead. How does that make you feel? Well, thanks. They're just absolutely relentless. The, the whispers, the doubts, the, the self-loathing. It's crazy. You are guilty. Oh. This is how, how much more direct? You are guilty. Is it worth what? Has, is, oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> well, they met a rather bitter end. Um, it's. Did something happen that we haven't learned about yet? Has Senua made a choice? Was. You have no choice. Was the Northmen invading her village a direct result of her going on that. that seclusion, the self seclusion into the wilderness to try and rid herself of the darkness? Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. Ha <laughs> ha The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking Pollock. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. Oh. She is pure darkness. All right, whispers, calm down. So, Huth was a blind god. I wonder if Huth is in any way... Whoa, I just saw... Yeah, there's Dillian's light out there. I wonder if Huth is associated in any way with that first challenge of Odin. You've killed him with your love because he believed oh, in you. Silence. Okay, upwards Years arrow. Passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. Uh, she has the sight. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. The curse cannot be Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. Oh. And Dillian. Future. Two realities. Tearing at her soul. I see. That's the symbolism of the bronze mask. The shift between those two realities of her loyalty to her... Her... I, I don't know if I want to say... Oh. Oh. Okay. Another mask. And another bridge. Another two bridges. Huh. Um, I don't know if I want to go so far as to say... Ab abusive, but maybe overbearing and overprotective father... Maybe it wasn't even overprotection. Maybe it was just a, a doubt in her ability to operate as a human being. And what she saw as the lighter world. Oh, it makes sense. The flashback that we had at the tree Look was in a bright, sunshine-filled world, wasn't it? Okay. 
barred door. Let's unbar this. Ah, this is where we can pick up the M rune. So we've got an upwards arrow, an M rune, and sort of a, a backwards S or Z. Oh, I see where the M is. Cross these ropes between these poles. Door is closed. These self doubts are just. They must be crippling. Okay, so that mask, it looks like I can get across that chain to the central platform and from the platform across to the corner. It might be worth doing that actually to open that other. Silence! Oh my word! Can I. Hold on, why can I not. Can I not get there? Oh. <laughs> There's a bridge here for that. Might have been an idea if I actually paid attention to my surroundings. Listen to your father when you had the chance. If you voices would give me a moment to concentrate on what I'm doing. I might not be making a fool of myself. Okay, I want to see what this mask does to the world first. What is in this room? This area in the light world. Do you remember meeting him beneath the tree? Oh. Well, we immediately have hints for the upward arrow. There's, of course, we're in. We're in the presence of sunshine here, aren't we? So maybe this is another sunlight one. Let's have a look around just in case there's anything that hints at an upward arrow here. It doesn't, doesn't appear to be. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, that is super smart. Look at that. Get a bit closer. Get that left-hand piece of wood up a bit higher. That's so smart. Well, if you could just explain how I'm supposed to get anywhere without unlocking these rooms first, I'd be most appreciative. Okay. So we've got, oh, there's the Z. Uh, oh, but I need to view it from the other side, don't I? Yeah, okay. So we've got access to this second mask area from both levels. Let's take a look out here. Just so I can see if anything is different. Other than the bridge being complete, there doesn't look to be a lot different. Is this maybe not barred here? Nope, very much barred. Okay. Remember Dillian? Yes. Do you remember, do you remember the sound of his voice? Oh, 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 oh. I don't need to cross over to the central platform here, do I? Because this is complete. Druth, what do you got? The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. Oh, wow. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief, and she dies. Oh. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Hmm. I wonder if they ever trace it back to Loki and pin it on him. Okay, this door is now open. Oh, I see. This door is now open, but it's no good to me because... I can't get through the gate 
So I need to switch to the Dark Realm, come round through that door, through the presumably broken gate, knock the bridge down, then switch back to the other reality and go across the bridge to actually see the rune from the other side. I like this. <laughs> this is cool. I need, when I'm in the Dark Realm, I need to see if I can get access to that, uh, that spot as well so that I can see what Druth has to say on that side. You are guilty. Was it worth it? Okay. No, I can't. In fact, in fact, that Druth spot isn't even there in this reality. All right, round and through. So, so the the first. I'm just trying to decipher what the different Nobody tests mean. The first trial of Odin like was blindness. But Senwa found strength and was guided by Dillian. In this one, it's her struggle between her life, the life that she dreams of with Dillian, and the life that she felt she feels duty or feels compelled to live under her father's sort of command, I guess. And both of those balanced against this darkness that she holds within herself. God, these are these are really really challenging topics. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? Oh, silence! Truth, you got a loud voice. Drown him out, please. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. Ah, resurrecting. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. Oh. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, Beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giant S they find in a cave. Oh, is that the one that pushed the boat? Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giant S must have been Loki in disguise. Huh. So what, got them on a technicality? That's cheeky. He's the reason she's alive at all. Okay, so I need to be in the Dark Realm to apply these runes. Yeah, because the gate's closed here. Oh, that's, that mask has moved. That mask has moved. It was pointed this way before. How weird. Are the masks... Trying to help us, or was that? I might be thinking of the mask in the dark realm. Yeah, I am. Never mind. <laughs> oh, the, the voices are just getting louder and more incessant. Oh wow! So this is this the bridge? Oh, I see. No, it isn't. This is not the bridge that I crossed before. The building, the boathouse that I came from before is over there. Because this, the the head of this thing, I suppose, was facing to the left. Well, okay, this looks precarious. Dillian! Well, he's waving us over, but that's easier said than done, I think. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. You're going to fall. And looked dimly yes. upon the druids, like our father, Zinbal. I guess he took Whoa. after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. Very and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, glad to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. Whoa. Darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. 
Oh no, the darkness is closing in, isn't it? See, blindness again. Seems to be a recurring theme. Dillian's father was blind. I don't want to go quicker because I'll push it too fast. There. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. Down. She's not oh. terrible. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, someone. Right, what's the catch here? What's the catch? No. Whoa! No. Uh, He's disappeared. You've lost him to the He's gone. He's lost him to Oh my god. Again, self blame. Cinema. <gasps> oh. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. Huh. Of course. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love. Hmm. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. It's done. You did it. But there's more. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. It's not going to be easy. So that stone has been stamped with that building, the boathouse. Oh, I have got the energy. <laughs> I will expend the energy. So Dillian was Dillian was saying about his father. His father has no concept of the dark because he's never been able to see anything but. And he was saying about us, our journey to the woods being like plucking out our eyes so we don't have to deal with the, the darkness. What an extreme analogy. It's crazy. Okay. Two down. Two to go. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. A plague. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Is this something like the bubonic plague, maybe? What where plague would have struck the northern like lands? This place feels... What is this place? Oh, wow. Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. You, this is creepy? Where is it? Now you say this oh, is creepy? <laughs> okay. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. This place stinks. Oh. Okay. It smells like death. Oh, oh Dillion. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. Find him. He's going in. He's disappearing. Follow okay. him. Don't let him disappear. The I gone. keep going. I How will follow him to the house uh, if I can. It's just a trial. It's just another uh. test. You just have to solve it, and then you will find him. It's he just a trial, they say. That's so all. Close. Have I got just to descend into this murk? Oh no, I have. <laughs> e. 
Like the old warrior trials. Hey. will help me. Oh, I see. So the blindness trial and potentially this, she's treating them like like the warrior trials that Dillian helped her with. The stench of rot. Whoa. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. Oh, look. Red she cross on the door. Not, but no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. Oh. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. Oh, great. We've got Val Raven Arches back again. Wonderful. So the Red Cross on the door. The mark of the tainted. This has got... Whoa. Okay. You've got to go another ghost staircase by the looks of it. That's got to be plague, surely. Is this the Black Death? The bridge. It's broken. Fix it. You have to fix it. How are you going to fix it? You can't get to the house until the bridge is fixed. Oh, there's another Val Raven arch over there. Oh, look, there's actually ravens on it. You have to find oh. Dillian. Why do I have to resort to Val Raven helping me, of all people? Right, I can't see any angle at the moment where this this shattered construct makes sense. What's that up there? That's like some guarded archway. And this? What is this? Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, I need to reconstruct that bridge. And then get over it through that that route. Oh my god, voices don't give you a moment's peace. Another mark of the tainted. Another Val Raven arch, yay. Okay. I don't think there's anything of use over there. Looks like those are broken fortifications. So what is this gonna reveal to us? Wait, what does that reveal to us? Uh wait. Oh! Oh, it removes those fortifications. Okay. Which brings us to another Val Raven Arch. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bring out your dead! Ugh. The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. Huh. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. Wonderful. And looks like I missed another How am I missing so many runes? Oh man, I missed a I must have missed a rune right at the end of the last trial. That little sort of double chevron thing. Ugh. Okay. What's this changing? Oh, is that unbarring that door? It is. That's it. You did it. Shit. It's um it's not done yet. Just a small piece of the puzzle. I'm not sure what that achieved. Oh, unless we now bring this wall back. Ah, yes, because that reveals the staircase. Clever. Yep, align the truth. Align the bridge. Oh, bit more, bit more. By Jove, I think we've done it. Or not. <laughs> I thought that was it. Aha! She did it. She did it. You fixed the bridge. She fixed 
Nice. You pass the trial, get well to the house. Done. You succeeded. I just don't understand how these voices can swing from one extreme to the other in such rapid succession. Beating her down, calling her. Whoa. Um. Calling her out, making her feel like she's stupid, like she's worthless, like she's. She has no value, she has no sense. And then patting her on the back, lifting her up, and then give it a moment, they'll slam her straight back down again. Oh, oh, oh no. The light's been extinguished. Oh god, look at the bodies. Look at the bodies. Oh, I can't tell if that's been eaten by an animal or whether the bag just tore. Oh, I can't follow them as well. Right. I want to have a quick look around outside first. Yeah. <laughs> now I wish I hadn't bothered. Oh. Okay, let's get in. I need to keep my eye open for this death moon. In case that's a thing here. Oh. Come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you want. Runes. Need to find more runes. At least there's no death moon. Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. The runes. Focus the runes. Okay. Whoa. Delius! Oh no. This has triggered something. Oh god. Well what the hell's this? You can hear Dillion. It's Dillion. Go to him. But whoa. Oh god. Is that wait, what is that? Is that Sirt? Okay, hold on. What was it? I need to find a um a backwards S. A a D shape. It's close. It's close. Move away. Whoa. Jesus. Oh hell no. I don't think I came through the wrong door. I didn't realize I came through any door. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. Is that Dillion there? Is that, is that Dillion's light? What shall I do? Dillion. Don't abandon me like this. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. E. Oh. Hold on. Where's the D? There. Whoa, I think it's getting close. Oh god, it's close. No! Oh! Oh! I don't want to keep running through those chains, but there's not an awful lot I can do to help it. Oh, there's Dillian. There's Dillian's light. Oh, is he leaving runes behind? Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, where's Dillian? Oh, crap. No. Oh, here he is. So what is... Whoa. Oh, God, no, that's the door. Shit. Here, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. That fire's finding me again. Where is it? There it is. You've got Okay. Which way is he going? Which way is he going? Is he coming through? Yes, he is. Right, where's the building? It was around here. Here it is. <laughs> Get out of the way, Dillian. Let me through. What is that? What does it represent? Oh, what was it? Was it just death? Was it destruction? Maybe it's destruction. Sano. 
What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. Oh. They say that I'm cursed. It was the mob. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out mm. of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Jeez, she was, so she was made to feel that she was to blame for a plague descending on her people. You. This darkness has made me a monster. Look at the seal what this is pointless? What if that's you're appeared wrong? on the rock. Is that is that the seal of the plague or of a monster? <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. This is absolutely not the end. Get out of my head. Oh my god. Whoa. That got a hell of a lot brighter. So there was a hint in there as well. What if my father was right? Like I said before, I think overprotective was the wrong word when I was describing her father's attitude towards her. I think just over controlling is probably closer to the mark. And I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to what I said originally. I think he was an abusive father. Perhaps not sort of physically, but certainly mentally. Berating her, putting her down all of her life. Probably telling her things like she's she's stupid, she's worthless. Which is probably what formed the foundation for this darkness that's within her. This complex that she's built and this, this illness that has seeped into her brain. That other people are now afraid could spread and consume the rest of her people. And also that that people seem to be insinuating could be bringing darkness to their to their people as a whole in the form of of plague and ill fortune nutty she's just she's been absolutely persecuted perhaps not all of her life but she's been downtrodden at the start of her life persecuted in the middle and then when she actually decides to take the reins to do something about it to take herself away and take some sort of affirmative action to try and do the only thing that she can imagine she can do to try and flush it from her mind, she returns and finds that all of her people and the man that she loved, the only one that supported her, have been slaughtered by the Northmen just so they can try and curry favour with the gods. Good God, she's been through the ringer. And this bloody rot is spreading up her arm again. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, wow. If you would like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, please leave one down below. I'd love to hear what you think of everything that's happening so far and uh, Senua's journey to this stage. And we're going to be taking on Odin's final trial. And hopefully, if we survive that, we should be able to stroll up to the tree there and retrieve Glamour. Glamour? <laughs> Grammar. <laughs> oh dear, brains pickled. Retrieve Grammar and then march on Hela's territory. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.